Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it was good to get back on the practice field. Um, you know, we had a, about a six day six day break. Uh, you know, from from practice. Uh, you know, challenged our guys. Uh, you know, today really wanted to get after it. Uh, there's some good and some bad. There was there were moments where you could see. Um, a little bit of the time off that uh, that jumped on them, and you know we we pushed and challenged, and that's where we have to continue to mature as a football team. Uh, that you know every day, every rep, regardless of what shows up, and we we've got to we've got to max out the opportunity, and um, that was I thought there were some really good you know flash plays that showed up. I think guys are getting better, um, you know, understanding technique, fundamentals, the things we're asking them to do uh, schematically, but um, you know I just. Uh, I wanted better today, and uh, you know, didn't don't wouldn't say today is a bad day, but it was it was uh, I wouldn't say it was our best effort either. Um, and so, just like I talked to the team there there afterwards, uh, you know, it provides an opportunity for us to respond, but you know we don't get today back, and uh, um, you know we're we're pushing for a, for a a, a new. Standard, um, you know it, that 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 standard of, of excellence in all aspects of how we operate, um, you know that was it what wasn't consistent enough for for myself and um, you know what I, what I what I'm hopeful to see out of this team, um, you know especially coming off of a, a break where you know you you got a, you got a chance to go out there and, and continue to develop that identity, but um, you know all in all we got some good situational work. Um, you know, it was there was some physicality that showed up throughout the course of practice, um, but we got to we have to continue to push. First question will be Richard Bell. Did um, did you see any response during the practice in terms of? Uh, I, I imagine you were letting guys know that you weren't exactly thrilled from the beginning. Did you see anything change during the? The course of the practice. Well, I mean, I did, and it was, you know, when you look at big picture comparison to what we've done in the past to where we are now. I mean, it's it's much improved, but you know, I, you know like I said, we, our our standard needs to be the best that we possibly have every single rep, and um, there were just too many moments today with, you know, whether it was our body language, whether it was you know just. Um, you know, we're talking about you know, accelerating through the finish on every play, and I didn't see that consistently enough. Um, you know, there were some good, there were some really good plays that showed up on, on both sides of the ball. I thought the defense, uh, you know, had moments of. Uh, you know, really, really good-looking, um, you know, fits with with all 11 guys, but you know, it just wasn't consistent play in, play out to what uh, you know what I want our standard to be and what I want our identity to be. And so, um, it, yes, there were there were positive moments. Yes, there were positive response. But you know, we want to, we want to be consistent. And the only way that you get consistent is you got to you have to practice consistency. It's got to show up regardless how you're feeling, regardless of, of the emotion uh, of what you're going through. You know, you got to you got to go play. And you've got to give everything that you have, uh, you know, focusing on those details, and then you have an opportunity to grow. So, yes, to answer your question, there was there was a response. Um, yes, it's better than probably majority of the of, of the things that, that we've done up to this point, uh, you know, this past year. But uh, you know, for our standard of uh, an expectation, you know, I want better. Mike, with the spring game coming up uh, this this weekend, I, I, can you go over the format? I guess it's going to be like good on good, and then two versus twos. Do you do a team draft, and then um, anything other? It looked like it was, I guess, two quarters of plays. or anything else kind of going on inside the game? Uh, there is. I mean, you know, this year we, we're going to we're going to keep it basically offense defense. Um, you know, throughout for two quarters. Um, you know, just we have some injuries. We're a little thin at some positions that would make it uh, extremely challenging to break up into two teams. So uh, we're going to continue to get work. I mean, there'll be some situate. There'll be some uh, some special teams work, but uh, we're going to we're going to you know play it basically for the for a first half, and then uh, uh, we're going to wrap it up with a grand finale. Got a couple of uh, uh, guest coaches that are, are going to come and and you know be a part, kind of adding a, a competitive uh, competitive edge to to the uh, to the end of it. 
and uh, you know I think it'll be a, a great experience uh, you know for our guys for uh, uh, you know you know all the Seminole family to be able to come and uh, you'll, you'll pack into Doak Campbell and uh, you'll see our guys and, and the growth that we've had and you know you, you, it's going to be a tremendous opportunity to see some of these young players and, and new guys and, and, and old experienced players to, to, to uh, go out there and show the growth that they've had and it could put on put that develop, development on display so um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to Saturday but you know we've got to have a lot of work um, and you know a great practice come Thursday um, you know before that. So following up on that, what are kind of the biggest um, areas of growth that you've seen so far? You know, I think we are a, a improved you know, physical football team. I mean, our, our guys... Um, you know they they're playing with better pad level. They're playing with better fundamentals. You know, uh, you know I know I harped on today. You know just the consistency. Uh, you know in the effort of what we're doing, and I would say it's it's much improved. But uh, you know we're we're still pushing to that standard we talk about and. Um, you know I, I think in all aspects our team is 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 believing in the in the the process of growth but um, you know they're also you know they're, they're believing in the in the fundamentals and the techniques to put themselves in the, in the best position and so uh, I really have been pleased with that I've been pleased with uh, you know the application from what guys are learning in the meetings you know trying to to uh, implement that out on the field and um, you know I've seen I've seen growth across the board you know and but we, we have to be consistent with that because in, in this game it just takes one play and you never know when that one play is going to show up that's going to make the difference. And um, you know, that's, what we're work that's what we're working on. Yeah, Coach, just how excited are you for the spring game? Are you in the players, especially considering uh, you, didn't, you weren't able to have that opportunity a year ago? You know, I'm excited. I'm excited for every for every practice we get. You know, this is one thing over the last this last year. You know, you never take a day for granted. You never take an opportunity to, um, you know, to, to go out there whether it's a, a scrimmage, just the spring game, you know, anything that's that's in front of us. Um, you know, it, it's it's definitely a, a great opportunity to to showcase our program, to showcase these young men. Um, you know, we talk about trying to trying to work to build the identity of what this uh, 21 uh, you know, Florida State you know football team is going to be, and you know we get to we get to show some of the uh, the positive steps that we've taken uh, in that direction. And you know we're definitely not a finished product. We got to have a great summer. Got to have a great uh, uh, you know you know fall camp you know leading up to it. But uh, you know it, each of these days and each of these reps are critical. And you know tomorrow's meetings, Thursday's practice. You know we're going to push. It's going to be a it's going to be a real work day come Thursday. Uh, um, and then, you know, when Saturday gets here, we're going to go out there and be, be the best that we can possibly be and, and compete our butts off. Good evening, Mike. Um, do you guys feel like that you are where you want to be at this point heading into the spring game, or do you feel like there's much more improvement that can be done? I mean, you know, anytime you get an opportunity to go out and practice, there's there's improvement that has to show up, it's, and th that's something that you know our daily approach, our our daily objective is to get better. To, to but to do that, you've got to you've got to give all that you have, and you've got to uh, go out with with that pursuit of excellence. And you know, I think for the ma majority of spring ball, I've seen that show up in good situations and in bad. Um, you know, our our guys are are developing that mentality. I think today, you know, I knew coming off of a, a, a six day you know, you know break you know, it provided a uh, it provided a, an opportunity to have those teachable moments and you know uh, you sometimes you'll see you'll see teams that you know come out a little sluggish you'll see your teams trying to get back into the groove of it and you know it provides us an opportunity to push so I mean I, I like where we are um, you always want better. Always want to continue to uh, uh, to to have that edge and continue to develop that edge for for our improvement. And you know that's what we're working on. Yeah, Mike. I, I was wondering about. I know you can't talk specifically about recruiting or recruits, but it sounds like you're gonna have a ton of dudes uh, at the game on Saturday. Is that something you would do at Memphis too? Is this um, is this something you've always kind of preached is getting as many guys on campus or is that more because, hey man, you haven't been able to see any of these guys for a year? I'm really excited about everybody that's going to be here at the game. Uh, you know, obviously we can't, it's, uh, you know, we can't be involved in any recruiting uh, activities uh, with it being a dead period. But uh, you know, there's a lot of excitement around the program right now, and 
you know, to be able to to have to have a, uh, a spring game, to be able to uh, you know have a couple of open practices you know, throughout the course of spring. That's uh, um, you know, that's one of the things that we always we, we always try to to um, you know attract you know just uh, whether it's our fan base or or you know people that want to see our our football program and and some of that development and growth uh you know it's 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 definitely exciting that um uh, who we're going to have in the stands and so um i've done that throughout my coaching career it's really one of the reasons that you know um, in spring ball you know we practice in the afternoons um you know, obviously this year, with it being a dead period, you know, we've we've not had had the open practices. We've not had that, uh, you know, throughout the week. But one of the reasons I practice in the afternoons in the spring is to be able to allow, uh, you know, local local prospects, coaches, you know, anybody that uh, uh, happens to be on on breaks to be able to come by and and, and see our guys work because, uh, you know, I, I love I love how we. Prepare. I love how we develop. I love that you know just the, the the way that we practice. And you know when when people are, are have the opportunity to see that, um, you know they get a they get a true sense of, of what's in front of them. And you know, like I said, unfortunately this year uh, with the dead period, we're not we're not able to do that. But uh, you know I am excited for the opportunities of uh, you know, the scrimmages that have been open and uh, you know the spring game that's ahead for for all that that are coming to watch uh, you know, our football team. I know you would have uh, competed against Coach Shannon when he was at UCF, um, but do you, did you get to know him at all during that time? And, and, and if you could kind of share some more insight into how this came to be uh, with him coming to join the, uh, your staff. Well, uh, you know, Coach Shannon is a is a, a coach I got a tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, you you look through through the course of his career, um, you know, it's just you, you know, he is a, he is a class human being and, and, and you know I think an incredible coach in, in all aspects of what he does. Um, you know, with this with this year, you know, having a, having an opportunity to be able to get him here, uh, you know, as an analyst to be able to to work with our, work with our coaches and to be able to add a uh, a different perspective. Um, you know, in in on all aspects uh, you know excited about what he brings to our staff uh, you know, like I said it's it you know in, in all in all ways you know we talk about the fit we talk about you know what we're looking for um, whether it's in recruiting or hiring coaches and uh, you know I believe Randy Shannon is is an, is an incredible fit um, for 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 our staff and you know, he's I know he's excited about the role and being able to uh, you really see things from from an, an, an outside perspective but with you know a uh, day-to-day you know interaction with coach Fuller and the defense of staff, uh, I know. I know Adam was was really excited about the opportunity to be able to get him here, or, as well as our defensive uh, defensive assistants, and really our entire our entire team. Uh, you know, because uh, you know, Coach Shane has done a remarkable job throughout his career, and yes, we have competed against each other. And um, you know, like I said, that that probably uh, you know helps contribute to the to the respect that I have for him and in, in, in all aspects. But I didn't didn't really know him uh, personally uh, very well. He had you know he had come to Memphis one time. Um, you know. Uh, to, to watch a workout uh, when I was the head coach there, but you know we didn't have a close relationship. Um, but uh, you know this was something that that we've been uh, discussing, and I was just excited about being able to get it done. One more question about the spring game. Aside from coming out of it healthy, are there any things in particular that you really want to get out of it? You really want to see? No, I mean just for guys to compete. To every all aspects, you know, I want to see eleven guys on defense working to play as one. You know, everybody uh, communicating. I want to see crisp, you know, sharp tempo. Um, you know, in our operations, you know, I want to see guys, uh, you know, going out there and, and truly taking the the fundamentals and the techniques that we've been working on. You know, which will be the the thirteen practices prior to see that apply. You know, there on Saturday night because you know that's 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 a big step in the growth. I mean, you can work fundamentals. You can. You can you know, have the lessons in the in the meeting rooms, but the application is critical. And then you know once those guys are able to apply what they've learned, their their reaction to all all things that might show up, right? whether it's the, the situational awareness, the the uh, you know different things that uh, you know, that could you know maybe be outside of their control in the moment, but for them to be able to, to respond and uh, you'll know, be able to, to to play to their best of, uh, to the best of their ability, uh, you know out there in front of in front of fans in in, in a moment where there's going to be intense. Intensity and, and excitement. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to see that our guys compete and just the way they respond. You know, Coach, you talked a lot about it at the beginning of the, the interview today, but just the fact that you want this team to, to have been a, be a little bit better than they were today, uh, but you also talk about factoring the big picture. 
uh, of the growth that they've made. How important is it for you, I guess, just maybe not only as a coach, but just as a human being to, to keep perspective so that uh, you are on a kind of a level plane and, and, and not, you know, ride the highs and lows? Well, you know, it, I, the focus on just our improvement daily, the, the focus on, you know, guys going out and giving all that they have, that's, that's those are things that we can control. Um, you know, I'm excited about this team. I'm excited about the personnel that we have, your players, coaches, everybody involved. Um, you know, it, it's our choice of what we're willing to give. It's our choice of what we're willing to invest. And, and I just, and I want it all. And I want it as fast as we can possibly be to, for us to go out there to play to the best of our ability consistently. Uh, you'll play in and play out, uh, you know, uh, we are still a young football team. You know, you, you look at you, you look at what we had returning. You know, last year, I mean, it was no secret. You know, the the, the youth of the freshman and sophomore class was was um, you know as much as anybody in the country. Couple that with adding some transfers, some some high school players that are coming in that uh, you know I think have a great opportunity to be able to help this team. You know, we're still we're still kind of molding that identity, and you know, for us to push, for us to go out there and, and demand us demand this team players coaches involved to hit that standard you know that's what that's what I'm looking for um, you know that is it's a daily challenge but it's also so rewarding because you do see you, you see those incremental steps you see that you see the improvement you see the growth it might not be exactly where we want to be right now but you know we're, we're all pushing in the right direction and and that that is what is is necessary for our program and you know if we can do that and consistently show up uh, you know, I, I believe in what these guys can accomplish, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to, to watch them continue to grow. Yeah, I was just wondering. Last time uh, we were able to watch you guys, it seemed like some some of the guys who were getting closer to returning, like Babyon and Bernardo, and some other guys. I was wondering if, if having this time off helped in that regard. If, if any of those guys who missed most of the spring were able to return it off for this last week, it, it, we. Today was our best day in having guys back. You know, you know, Bavion, you know, Bavion was full go. Um, you know, Miko Dotson got to, got a chance to get some uh, you know, seven on seven work, and you know, he's kind of been been limited throughout the course of the spring. Uh, you know, Jordan Wilson is a is a young man that uh, you know I'm excited about the the progress that he's making just in his rehabilitation and, and all aspects of what he's doing. You know, to see him out there running around, um, you know, you catching balls, running routes. It's a it's it, you know we've limited him a little bit from the contact. Uh, aspect of it, but you know, really excited what he, about what he's going to bring. And um, you know, we did have a good group of guys that uh, that were able to return today, and um, you know that that helps our that that helps continue to build that con continuity and the competition at each position. But um, it's it's part of spring as well. You know, there's going to be there's going to be days that uh, um, you have guys available and guys that are, that are not. But um, you know, today was definitely a, a good day to see a lot of a lot of those guys come back and get some of that work. All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys. Have a great day.